everyone and welcome back it's been a long time since we had an episode here in the let's play world but i'm back to try something out cub fan 135 did a little thing on dirt rooms about a month ago and i thought we'd do our dirt room today as well as build a uh, little enclosure for the kelp farm yeah so let's do that we've got our halloween decor up still Sorry, I didn't really get to show that to you guys, but I decorated our world just a little bit for the holiday. Um, you'll see some scarecrows and jack-o'-lanterns around um, with, our, with our black cat cinder over there by the farm. <laughs> anyway, let's head down the hill and decorate that up. And when we're done with that, we'll head over to the dirt room that's in our mine shaft and see what we can do with that. Hello, Mr. Scarecrow. All right, so here's our beautiful, beautiful kelp farm that has been producing kelp for us. And right now I have the, uh, the XP part of it turned off, so it's just pushing the kelp through, which is fine. It's exactly what I wanted it to do. <laughs> All right, so we need a building around this, and we kind of go for a more... Uh, tradition these builds were based on traditional buildings and so we go through this more traditional style with these builds and to that end I've gathered some sandstone and some terracotta and what I'd like to do with this is build some beehive houses around this beehive houses are just round houses that come up like a funnel into a point at the end like a like a natural beehive so let me uh, get a circle laid out around this to put in the first part of the beehive structure and i'll bring you back in when that's done all right after a little terraforming which <laughs> i uh yeah i brought the whole thing down oh by one level uh after a little terraforming i'm happy with the circle obviously I need to adjust the land on either side but I'm happy with the circle so I'm going to build the circle up into the beehive shape I want and I'll do all the terraforming stuff when we're done with the building let's get that beehive shape going let's see eventually the build will be made out of sandstone and terracotta and I want the base to be the smooth sandstone Let's go up. Let's see, how many more? Hmm, two, two more? Should we go up two more? Or can we, hmm, where should we start angling this inward? That's a good question. Let's take a look at it. Oh, I wish we could angle that last layer in, but I'm not, yeah, we, we can't really start angling the layers in until the next layer it looks like because this layer has to be out here but this one could go in here that would be fine so let's start putting this layer on and then we'll start angling it in <laughs> the pumpkins are everywhere you can see them oh and i got a I got a spyglass, yeah. Oh, our pumpkins, our spoopy pumpkins. So fun. All right, let's see. Hmm. It's looking very roundish. Let's put a door in. I think a door might be helpful. All right. And uh, maybe we'll have the bottom here just be a dirt floor. Hmm. Maybe not, but maybe. <laughs> I mean, it is just a... Uh... Sorry, I got distracted. It is just a kelp farm, after all. It doesn't need to have anything fancy. Let's see. Let me get up here and 
start putting on a new layer to this thing. Okay, actually, I like that shape. That works for me. I think I would like an acacia roof though, a gray acacia roof. And over here in the building box, I don't have any acacia. So let me run up to my tree farm which is just up there. Can't see it from here, but it's just up there next to the barn. And uh, I'll bring back some acacia. Yeah. <gasps> oh, you. Come here, you. Oh my goodness. Do you have moss? Do you, hello, sir? Do you have moss today? Oh, you don't have moss. Yeah, I, I don't need any of that. I'm very sorry, but... You can spit at me all you want, but I got what I came here for. <laughs> They'll forgive me eventually if they don't despawn first. It'll be fine. <laughs> There's the wood farmer's cottage. Here's our little wood farm area. And we'll just take a quick nap. He won't mind if I sleep in his bed. <laughs> There's nobody here currently filling this position, so it's fine. They have a lovely view, though. Yeah. All right. I don't know if you guys remember the woodcutter's cottage, but this is the interior of it. And here's the exterior. And you followed me? Did you follow me up here? Really? Why? You're that intent. You followed me? That's weird. I did not notice these two following me, and now you're not mad at me. Come here, you. Ah, yes, you see your brethren, eh? There you go. Y'all can stay here for a minute. <laughs> yes, here, here are your brothers and sisters. You found them. Good work. I'll get you guys, I'll get you guys carpet squares. Don't you worry, it's coming. All right, let's see, we got, ah, we have no actual wood at the wood, <laughs> woodcutters. Aha, uh -huh. okay, I will be growing some acacia saplings and cutting them down so that I can get all of all of the wood. Yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'll bring you back when I'm, um, when I'm done with that. All right. That's the last evidence that I chopped down trees. Oh, other than this evidence. And uh, I'm going back now. See you there. Oh, yep. I'm liking the gray roof. More. More gray roof. <laughs> All right.
All right, the top three layers are done and I love it. I think I'd like to do another layer, but I underestimated how many acacia trees I would need. So I'm gonna have to go chop more down, but I'll be right back. I need bone blocks. Arr, they're touching. You're not supposed to be touching. No, touchy, touchy with the big trees. bone block and some carpet pieces. Ooh, gray and yellow. I have gray and yellow and I have gray and green. Let's do gray and green. That'll be fun. <laughs> and some bone block. Aha. There's no bone block in there. Uh, I don't want to go all the way down there for bone block right now because I don't need to. So I'll just call it good. Would you like to be best friends? And then you can go live with the other llamas and the the pigs. I might I might help you out with the pigs. What do you think? Are we friends? I know I I know that I know that he was like your owner and stuff, but like there we go. Yeah, he wasn't taking very good care of you. How about that? You like that? What about that? Or do you like this better? Oh, that's a good look for you. That's a good, yeah, that's a good look for you. All right, your turn. You're gonna get green. You're gonna be a creeper llama. You like it, you would like to be. Oh, look at that, you're gonna be a creeper llama. He loves me right away, excellent. All right, so how would y'all like to come in with me? All right, let's, uh, let's take you and you. Oh, you're already in. All right, let's go in. Come on. I knew y'all wanted to come in here. There we go. Perfect. Wow, there is a lot of llamas in here now. I'm sorry, pigs, but this is a llama pen now. Now it's a llama pen. Much better. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry about the pigs. We'll, uh. What you doing, Spazzy? We might find a new home for the pigs. All right. We might find a new place for pigs, or this can just be our llama pen now. Oh! Oh! They're spitting on each other. Hmm. I don't. I don't know if I want to get involved in that fight. That's okay. That seems like their problem, so. 
We'll just we'll just leave them to it. It's all right. All right. There's the gray roof and I'm wondering if I should do one more layer of gray out here or if I should leave it the way it is. Hmm. Okay. Um Hmm. I don't know. I think I like it. I think I like that layer being gray as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really fast. Hmm. You know? Let's see. Can I get these to, oh, I see. Can get them to smooth out. Okay, but what about? Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know if I want to make them all straight or not. I think I like it a little bit not straight. Let's see. Let's just see. Ah, yeah. The not straightness does not bother me at all. It's fine. All right. We'll put these away. And we will put these away. I'll take these and these because I'm not really sure yet. I want a texture though. Let's texture and then add in some decorations. Okay, it's all textured. And so now I want to add some decoration. I have the least orange. I have the most red and yellow. Hmm, wonder if I could use this around the doorway. Hmm, yeah, that looks all right. Let's see, maybe some red coming up the sides. Hmm, yeah, yeah. I like that. Huh. Maybe we could have we could have it filtered down to less and less red. But what would I put over that? I only have five orange. Hmm. Let's try that out and just see how it looks. Oh, yeah, I really like that. Okay. It's gonna be the same in this corner. It's just gonna have to be a little bit wonky because obviously I don't I don't have any more orange, so. I don't know if we should put yellow on top of the sun or maybe just make it a little longer with the red. Yeah, let's do that. We'll make it a little longer with the red and we'll put the orange up on top. Because in real life, builds aren't perfect, of course, and so they probably won't be in Minecraft either. <laughs> I like it. I think it's super cute. Oh, uh, what do you guys think? Of course we have a, to get a door and we have to put in a floor, but what do you guys think of the outside? I think it looks adorable. All right, I'm very happy so far. Let's put this back and let's grab this out so that we can make a floor in here. I think this one would look better in there. Yeah, all right, look at that, that's adorable. And it perfectly houses our little kelp farm. Now, normally I would run a ceiling through a room like this, but I don't think I can. So I will just leave it open on top. But I will do something about these. All right. Well, here's the uh, kelp farm functioning. Ah, that'll be why it's not working. Yeah, there we go. 
There it is. You saw that disappearing. Going in there. Going in there. Excellent. All right. So the system's working. And it's all in ha encased in this little house now. That is perfect. I am really pleased with this little build now. I'm going to clean up the terraforming around here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and peel this hill back a little. All right, there's the hill on that side and let's put in a hill on this side. And while I'm doing this, I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit. I have not been very consistent and I'd like to apologize for that. I really do want to be more consistent with my Minecraft videos. And one of the things that I would really like to do in this world is expand it because the 1.18 update is going to be coming out and that's going to be amazing and it's going to bring all kinds of awesome things into our world and uh, I'm going to want to expand it at that point I think and so what I'd really like to do ultimately here is build up a really fabulous world because I think we have an amazing seed here, guys. We have one of the best seeds I've ever seen in a Minecraft world, and I know I haven't been playing that long, but really, really an amazing seed. I'll have to do an episode on it, but I think this seed is really something special, so I don't wanna leave. I wanna put some bushes around this cute little place. All right, we are done with this place, guys. Yeah, that's adorable. All right. I'll bust this chest down and uh, move everything back up to our house and meet you up there. Yeah, right up there. Alright guys, that's about all the time I have for today's episode, but I thought it's a special treat. I'd bring you over to my creative world and show you what I've been working on before we say goodbye. I've been working on a mansion for us to live in and I simply can't decide what to do about it. So I've created this. Um, oh, let me turn the weather off. All right, so it was raining in my test world. I've created this, which is just hollow at the moment, filled with light. But the idea is that you would have a door here at the bottom and water elevators going up and down and you would live in this section, which is kind of incredible, but I'm already at the top of a mountain, so I'm not certain that's necessary or a good idea. The other idea I have that's all built up is, and this is a build from one of my Let's Build videos. Uh huh. The other build I have all built up is, bam, this one. Now, let me know what you think about this one because I've heard that nobody likes the modern style anymore and this is very modern. So, what do you guys think? Would you like to see one of these in our world? Or would you like to see something completely different than one of these? Because I've planned both of these out, but that does not mean I have to use them right now. I could always use them another time. So here's the full tour of this mansion that actually got an interior. <laughs> and you let me know which one you like better, or if you don't like either one of them, maybe there's a third option, something I haven't thought of that you've thought of that you could suggest to me. So guys, that's all that I have time for. That's all that I have time for today. Please let me know what you think about our mansion and what we should do about it. I've been gathering materials to build this one, but like I said, I designed a second one, so it's up to you. Let me know what you think we should do in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.